Hey guys, what's up? Hashim here with another educational video. Well, I don't do lots of these uh, commentary educational videos, but I do some of them, but we're just going to do another one. And uh, today is for those beginner people who use a PS4 for YouTube. Um, I'm sure most of you have known this app. Uh, it's called Chair Factory. Uh, this is the app I used to edit my montages, everything that's an upload is literally from this, except some of them, they're edited on other devices. But today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit uh, like a YouTube video on Share Factory. Uh, this is only for PlayStation, so if you're on Xbox or Nintendo or all those other things, uh, this is not really your video. So if you're going to make a YouTube video, what you're going to do is you're going to go to New Project, okay? Once you go to a new project, you're going to have, you know, more more than one option of, you know, what kind of theme you want. The, it all doesn't matter because you're going to remove the themes from there. So I'm just going to use the PS4 one. And then the ones with the ticks, you're going to remove them. Because th what that will do is this. So it would do that at the beginning of your video. And you don't want that. You just want, you know, uh, your own intro. So add the clips you need. Um, I'm just gonna add, let's see. I'll add like two clips from here. Uh, so it's like a Apex Legends and, you know, and uh, Rec Room gameplay. So if I just keep on scrolling. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just random stuff here. But, uh, uh, so what you want to do is this. So if you're going to have just one clip in your video, you won't need to edit that much. So in this video, it's just going to be a test video. It's only two clips, as you guys can see. Now, if you just want to make it a regular, you know, to move to the next clip. If, so, so if you, like, uh, don't edit anything in your clips, this is how it will look like. So we'll just switch to the different clip. But if you want to add a transition, you're going to press X. You're going to go to add transition. Then my personal favorite is in the dissolves, it's called crossfeed. So once I do that, it'll do this. So then it'll make it look cooler, you know? So that's how you do that. And then um, if you press X and then you see the add over uh, play, this is to add like, you can add writing, you can add stickers. So just, so this was a funny clip. So I'm gonna add one of these, let's add this. Then you can add the duration of it. So I'm just gonna keep it right there. And then it'll look like this. <laughs> So that's that, okay? And then if you're gonna make a thumbnail, uh, if you guys don't know what the thumbnail is, it's like when you see a YouTube video, it'll show the picture before you press on it. That's what the thumbnail is. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the options button. Then you're gonna see this generate thumbnail. Okay, you can either do that from your video or you can go to like, uh, let's see. Export to gallery, what that will do, that will put it in your uh, pic you know what that would do is it will uh, put it in your photos and things for the playstation for a thumbnail you're going to press generate thumbnail right here so project thumbnail saved so when this goes on youtube it'll show you know this okay same with the text with that funny picture thing it's the same thing and uh let's go all the way to the end here let's go So here, what you can do is, let's see, um, if I were, so in the middle of your clips, you can, you can't add transitions, it has to be between two clips, okay? So if you're going to try to add transitions in between your clips, there's no point of doing that, number one. Number two, you can't do that, it's just not possible and not allowed. So now let's move on. Once you're done, you know, editing your video, by the way, guys, you can add like music, uh, these are not copyright music, so that's the good part. But they're pretty bad music, so... 
Yeah. And they're really loud, so... Ouch, my ears right now. Now, if you don't want to add this, like, music, you can add your own music, but you can get copyright claim on it. So, if I were to press X and add track to, and then press X again, record audio. Now, you can just record the audio of the, what's it called? Of the, you know, record this, like, audio of the song you're gonna put. Or if you wanna just do another thing, if you, just, this is gonna be a bit more complicating, but, if let's see um what's this uh if we were to press add music so if you added music like that we just did it like x and then add music import from usb you have to put a usb from the playstation and like when you before you do that you go on like spotify or itunes then copy the song to the usb then you connect the usb to your playstation to add the song but that's more for like, you know, montages and stuff. But it's simpler if you're a new YouTuber. I, if I were you, I just add, you know, add track too. Then maybe you can go to add music. But um, once you've done that, you're gonna share video and exit, okay? Uh, once you do that, I'm not gonna bother because it's gonna take so long. It's gonna, since this video is like 12 minutes, uh, it's gonna take like, I don't know, five minutes just to save it all. What it's going to say is either share or share later. If you press share later, you can just go to your library and share factor and you can find the video easily. But I usually share it directly. And then it will just ask you to put your thumbnail. Uh, sorry, not your thumbnail. You you don't have to put the description, but you do have to put a title. If you don't put a title, it will just be called share factory. Nothing else. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And if, if, if like I should make more of these kinds of videos where... I teach you guys how to do these things. Uh, tell me in the comments. And uh, bye.